with india's big wins one uh, person who is smiling big is the ioa vice president gaga narang he is also an olympic medalist remember from the london olympic games he joins me all the way from hangzhou thank you very very much gagan for for being on the broadcast and i i believe that you had to run away to find wifi there and its wifi is not that easily available tell us a little bit about your experience being there and you know at this at this big moment when india has already crossed last time's mark well it's absolutely fantastic we are all delighted that india has uh, given its best ever performance at the games i think with madam pt usha being here me being here the entire top brass of the iwa being here it shows the kind of seriousness that we have and behind the athletes we are going to different venues trying to encourage them and and get us those medals we were at the badminton venue uh, yesterday sindhu was playing today as well and also yesterday at the athletics so i think a few more medals coming up gagan i'll have to talk to you a little bit about the medals that are uh, probably not many expected the uh, the medals that have come from non traditional sport like dressage we've got uh, got a silver medal in uh, golf as well tell us a little bit about you know broad basing of indian sport that we have seen in uh, uh, this games well yes uh, i think the mission olympic committee is working very hard uh, it's the government of india committee that's formed to kind of get us those uh, medals but uh, having said that you know um, the traditional sports like shooting and athletics not disappointing at all i mean they are winning their best ever all but there were a few uh, surprises and pleasant ones i must say that you know the equestrian team the squash gold a few very very encouraging performances which boosted the morale of the indian contingent here and uh, i mean the rest of the contingent they have a couple of matches left and they just raring to go gagan you have been an athlete yourself and no one Uh, other than you knows the athletes mentality better a lot of them including a lot of shooters who won medals here uh, for example the roller skating team as well they the squash team they will not be a part of the olympic games how big for them is it to do well at this stage and win those medals well it's a flip in the sport i mean if you see even kayaking and canoeing won a medal so i think you know it's fantastic uh, not many people uh recognize the effort uh, that is put in the entire year and and uh, have winning a medal at the asian games it's an olympics for them you know it, uh, we have the olympic games to go and look forward to but for these sports which are not in the olympic fold i think it's the olympics for them and it it gives a huge flip to the entire sport and there'll be so many young kids and uh, wanting to take up that particular sport so absolutely fantastic uh, these performances have been very very encouraging Gagan, talking a little bit about your own event, that is uh, shooting. Um, air rifle shooting has found its new heroes as well. Uh, but tell us how many of these shooters, 22 of them, went on to win medals in Asia. How many of them will actually feature in the Olympic Games, and you expect them to turn this medal into an Olympics medal as well? Well, while uh, the shooting performances have been very encouraging. and uh, they have uh, given their best ever performance uh, i feel that the actual litmus test is going to be the asian championships coming up uh, in a couple of weeks because that is where the olympic qualification quota places uh, will be up for grabs and uh, i'm definitely i'm, I'm sure that uh, these performances at the asian games are going to give them that motivation and the confidence because these are the shooters that are that they're going to face in the asian championships as well and uh, and winning here i will definitely uh, make them uh, more confident people who missed out on a medal here uh, will definitely want to get, take the second chance to win the medal in the asian championships kagan i have often been asked this question and i want you to ans- answer this question as an athlete a, a, a commonwealth wealth field a commonwealth games field or an asian games field which is the most difficult more difficult and uh, you know how do athletes really prepare for these two games even mentally well uh, see the name is different i mean but when an athlete prepares he goes out to give his best and i'm sure that they have a long term development plan they have their goals set they understand which um, competition to give their 100% and which competition maybe 90 or 85 is enough and you know the long term goal is of course the olympics so for example mira bai she couldn't lift a very heavy weight but uh, but you know maybe she's planning to get that gold medal for us in in paris so 
so the absolutely time their performance is even a neeraj chopra for that matter i am sure that the coaches and the officials are are at the they know, they know what they're doing definitely because they're winning those medals so i'm hoping that these uh, medals will give them the boost to go in in the future and preparing for these big games i mean for a lot of athletes it's 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 a make or break moment for them because you know the limelight that they get and the push that they get that which is very useful for them to probably get a job to get scholarships to get that kind of uh, financial support that is necessary i think these games give them that Gagan, you spoke about uh, Neeraj Chopra and I'll have to tell our viewers that Neeraj Chopra's event, his hunt for a medal is coming up at 4.35 this evening. But you also spoke about Mirabai Chanu, another Olympic medalist. Uh, there was another, um, I would say, narrow miss, miss by Shelly Singh. Tell us about these, you know, we've spoken about the big wins, but tell us about these narrow misses that we have also seen during the Asian Games and how have the contingent reacted, how have the system reacted to it? Well, uh, see, I mean, uh, at the end of the day, you know, they are our athletes and they are there because they are the best we have. So, they are continuing to, they are going to be the, be the best we have, whether they come fourth or whether they come first. Whether they come, when they come first, of course, they are going to, they're going to be celebrated. But these athletes who come fourth, fifth, second, third, you know, they have the fire burning brighter in them than ever to win us those medals in the cup coming championships. So they need to be taken care of, uh, especially more than uh, the ones that win. And, and you know, these are the ones that are going to convert those fourth, fifth places into second, third and second, third into first, second. Mm -hmm. um, I think, uh, you know, your words were echoed by Krishna Punya last evening. She was on our show and she said the same thing. It's not just about winning those medals, but also about the ones who are participating there and the brave hearts who are giving it their all. Gagan, personally, you know, switching over from being an active athlete to being an official at this stage, you know, watching the, the games with a different lens, how has it been for you? It's been a fantastic experience, you know. I think uh, the kind of exposure uh, that we at IOA are getting is absolutely immense. Uh, earlier, my focus was just shooting sport and a couple of other sports where I had friends in. But uh, right now, going into the annoyances of each sport, I think it's a fantastic learning experience for all of us. We still have a few more days to go, but I know you have been taking pictures across uh, venues. Tell us, for you, Gagan, the photographer, which has been the best picture or the best moment so far? Well, I'll be sharing a couple of them uh, on my social media very soon. Uh, so, I don't want to let the cat out of the box. But, uh, but I think there have been some very special moments, especially... Uh, you know, Palak winning the air, air crystal uh, gold medal coming from down under. I think that was one very, very special moment for me. What about the India-Pakistan hockey and the squash gold medals? I know, at least for one, uh, you were there on the field. Yes, I, I saw both and I saw yesterday's uh, uh, women's uh, race as well, where, you know, she overtook in the last uh, 10 seconds of the game. That was fantastic. Parul Chaudhary, right? Chaudhary, that's correct. Yeah, yeah. And tell us a little bit about the India-Pakistan hockey. I know you're a big hockey fan yourself. Well, yes, we were watching and I mean, you know, India beat uh, Pakistan 10-2. So, we were actually, all of us uh, in the stands were contemplating how many goals will India win. So, someone said 7, someone said 6 and uh, finally they exceeded all our expectations to 10-2. So, it was fantastic. Well, Gagan, it's great to know uh, from you the energies that you're experiencing in Hangzhou. All the best to the Indian contingent. May they come back with a bag full of medals and all the best to you. Thank you. More to come, Victor. Thank you.